Hello there. How is it that some politicians have the unnerving ability to re-emerge from the crypt to re-kickstart their careers? Firstly, please subscribe and like this video to give my channel a boost. And I'm always uploading new content, so please do check back daily. That arch pro-EU operator and lefty politician Peter Mandelson has dusted off the cobwebs and emerged from the dark, dank catacombs where in all honesty he should have stayed in order to tell us that the Boris Johnson government will cave in at the last minute by shying away from a no-deal Brexit outcome. Talking to Coronanomics in a video called Fixing the World Trade Crisis After Coronavirus, Mandelson said, If we left the European Union at the end of this year on WTO terms, we would pay both a short-term and a long-term price in doing that. And he said that we would be paying huge tariffs to export to the EU without a deal, in some cases up to 12 or 13 per cent. It would be very serious for us, he said. And coming on top of the whacking businesses and jobs have had from Covid, I mean, quite honestly, it doesn't bear thinking about. Which is why I believe this government, which has not lost all sense of perspective, I think, would realise that it does need a deal. It can't deliver a second whammy of that kind to the UK economy, not given what we've been through this year. Now Lord Mandelson is an arch-believer in the European Union and would sign us up in a heartbeat to the whole shebang, Euro, Schengen and all. He believes that the sun shines out of one particular orifice of the EU's offensive anatomy. It would not matter to him if the UK suffered detrimental short- and long-term effects from being tied back under the control of Brussels and the jurisdiction of the ECJ. I would think that for him, anything that provides the strings and shackles to draw us back in as full EU member state is all that matters. But Lord Mandelson also says he has had a quiet discussion with government ministers about being a possible UK candidate to head up the World Trade Organisation, if you could believe such a thing. Especially as Tory MP Dr Liam Fox has expressed an interest in the post. He said he agreed with the government push to promote the UK around the world. But he also put forward the idea that he would be less likely to be rejected by the other members of the WTO, who have a veto on nominations. Now, the WTO Director General post runs for four years, although the last two will have served two terms each. And the job is not a policy job, it is more of an admin and advisory post running the 700 or so WTO staff. But one could imagine someone like Mandelson looking to expand the remit of the job a bit and pushing the envelope as far as he could. And yes, I could see some in the UK government quietly pushing for Mandelson to take the post if he was accepted by the other WTO leaders. It might be a more successful way of getting a UK man in a top post. After all, what better thing for all the other states than having someone who would rather the EU controlled his own country as their trade mouthpiece? And the EU member states would positively revel in it. After all, Mandelson was European Commissioner for Trade from 2004 to 2008. His posting would be akin to having Nigel Farage as an EU nominee, if there were such a thing. I wouldn't trust Mandelson an inch with the future of the UK, other than as in servitude to another, the EU. And remember, he did once say in a speech in Poland, the age of democracy is over. We are now in the post-democratic age. What more is there to say about him? Except maybe about mortgages and the ministerial code, maybe? Anyway, if you want to hear more from me, please don't forget to subscribe and also press that little bell, or you won't get any notifications. And if you want to see more of me, buy a mug with my mug on it. So what do you think about Peter Mandelson? Please share and comment, and thank you for watching. 
please do like and share this video. And also subscribe to my channel. And when subscribing, please do remember to press on the little bell next to the subscribe button. That way you'll get an alert every single time I put up a new video. And thank you very much for watching.